Oh man, is it hot out here. Whew, you think it's hot out here today. Imagine how hot it is inside this trailer when it's sitting on a door to ship a receiver. Today, we're gonna discuss how to solve that problem of heat right after this. Everybody get up. Everybody, it's me, Mark State, back here talking with you. Welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with temperature. Shippers and receivers, when the trailers are on the door at a shipper and receiver, what you can do to override the back door switch. Because there are so a lot of shippers and receivers who would like the reefer unit running to protect the load integrity, the temperature of the load integrity. Uh, so they like you to you know, leave the unit running. But the big problem as of late with these new Carrier 7500 units is, is when you open the back door, the reefer unit shuts off. So what do you do? Well, everybody usually calls Road Assist or your breakdown department and say, hey, how do we bypass that door switch? Do we do cut a wire? What do we do? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily bypass that door switch by using nothing more than this control panel, okay? Let's fire into it. First thing you wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn the unit on. Do, 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 do. Open up the door. Now when the unit comes on, obviously it goes through a test, a self-test. So as we can see, we've got the alarm list going on here now. Now, if you actually take a look at the menu, you want to press the menu button once. Press it twice. You'll notice there's a blank spot right here on the third key. Language lines up, data recorder lines up, blank spot, exit. There's a blank spot there on the second page of the menu. Well, let's exit out of that. Now, what you need to do is press and hold the two outer keys. Just press them and then hit equal and watch what happens. Press equals. Now we've got the advanced user mode enabled. Now let's go to the menu. Press once, press twice. Aha, we've got a function button here now. Go ahead and press the functions arrow down to overrides hit equals door shutdown is currently set on no we want to press equal change that to yes press equal and exit and now that we've got the override set up we're going to give the unit here a couple seconds and if we listen carefully hear the beep Ta-da! magic the trailer's on the door but the reefer's running We've successfully overridden the switch. It's that simple. Tell you what, this thing's getting loud. I'm all done. That does it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get out of here.